Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys something today that I am very ecstatic to show you because I had never seen anything like this before and what it is, is there's this PSD that my friend Edmund Amir Agayan had uh, given to us where if you've ever played with anything other than a curve, let's say you've done something with selective color and you started tweaking colors here and there but you wanted to know exactly what it was doing <clears throat> before it would be almost impossible to see what was going on but what Edmund did was he created a PSD which shows you a visual representation of anything that happens um, translated to what's happening in a curve so let me give you an example Let's say that we have our PST here and we have our curve adjustment layer. So if I modify my curve, you'll notice that the PST is a reflection of what is happening. So already, if you're following along and you're awake, you can see that this is pretty phenomenal. And this is all happening because Edmund uh, created these um, input and output folders, which generates a live preview of a curve. So this is all great and fine, but let's see what happens when we go to another channel, like the red channel. You can see that the red is interacting with the curve. Amazing. Okay, so that's great, but what about other things? Now here's where it gets exciting. Let's say you have a selective color adjustment layer and you go into the blacks, whites, or neutrals, which is where your um, shadows, highlights, and midtones, for all intents and purposes, are are hiding. So we go into our black channel, channel as I say, and I start tampering with the black point. And as you can see here, you'll notice that the midpoint stays intact, and everything from the shadow region all the way to the anchor point on the left which is your darkest area gets brought up and this is accurate because if you've ever done this to an image you'll start seeing the image fade in the richest points which is fascinating because what this means is now you can replicate everything through a curve and also you know exactly what's going on if you know how a curve works in the sense where the left represents your deepest shadows and the right represents your deepest or the richest highlights you'll know that you'll basically understand what's happening so it's almost like he's um, given us a formula for every single adjustment layer because it's being translated through a curve so he's deconstructing every single adjustment layer because of this or I should say he's given us an opportunity to deconstruct every adjustment layer so let's say we modify our yellow tab which is pretty much what you expect to happen because the blue channel is subtracted which is kind of you know giving us a variable look with the yellows so when you bring down the blue channel here you're subtracting blue which is adding yellow and if you're not familiar with any of this I want you to open up a PSD play with the blue channel and see exactly what's happening and then play with a selective color adjustment layer and see what's happening. You notice it's the exact same thing, which is why this is so exciting for advanced users and people who are just getting into this because we can start modifying adjustment layers. Now, the same thing happens with the white, which is your highlights or everything that's your brights. And you can even do multiple ones, <laughs> which is so cool to see in motion because here I've mixed and matched all these colors, but now I'm also tweaking the luminance of that area, which is pretty impressive to see how the curve would bend if you had to manipulate this manually. It's like the midpoint is being stuck and the red channel is dipping all the way down and then spiking up. Interesting, let's go and reset this by double clicking the, the name of the uh, sliders. These won't work right now because there's no color information in the original image. So let's go and delete that now. There's something else I've always wondered about. Let's say we had photo filter. What is that actually doing? Because I've never been able to successfully replicate that. 
through the curves. <clears throat> and the reason is because every adjustment that I was doing was very linear or I was modifying the curve like dragging the midpoint and bring it up or down. But clearly, as you can tell, when I'm adding a warming filter to a PSD, the blue curve is being pulled downwards. So it's subtracting blue and adding warmth, but it's spiking right around here. So the look is very different than trying to manually replicate it. But now when I did this manually through a curve, it matched precisely, which is so fascinating. And the same thing goes for all these different warming filters and cooling filters. You get an exact idea of what's happening. Someone once told me that the algorithm that the photo filter was using was very unique, which is true, it is, clearly as you can see, but now I know what's happening. So I could technically do everything through a curve if I wanted to, and I understand visibly what's happening. So I hope that you guys um, had a good time looking at this tutorial because it's pretty damn exciting. Um, this PSC is going to be in the description below in the um, video. So check it out and have fun. Let us know what you create and enjoy.